Have you ever wondered that why 1 lakh people register for CSI and in life sciences, but only 60,000 people make it to the exam. 60, 61, 62,000 people write the exam. What happens to the other 40%? The other 40% never make it to the exam. But why is it that all these people who prepared for the exam cancelled, they didn't even go for the exam. They prepared, they took coaching, they registered for the exam, they got even the admit cards, but they never went to the exam hall to give the exam. The truth is, they all suffer from a syndrome which is called as withdrawal syndrome. Yes, you heard me right. Majority of the people feel it or experience it in the last seven days of exam. I'm sure some of you would have already experienced it or you are going to experience it in the near future. Now, the moment exam dates are announced, that gossip is out of the window that exam dates can get exam can get postponed and admit card has not come and probably the exam is not going to happen this, on this first week of June. But having said that, you all know this that now exam is pakka, it's going to happen on 6th of June. Now, the moment this, this date comes up, you all will fe start feeling that withdrawal syndrome. You all will start feeling, in fact, one student uh, messaged me that if I had got one week extra, I would have definitely cracked CSI in it. Well, most of you would have felt that way. But the advice which I gave her, I'm going to tell you all also. And the advice is very simple. You look at this. You are feeling that if you had got one week extra, you would have qualified the exam, right? But the truth is, you can still do it. Now imagine that there is an assassin in the room. In this room, there is an assassin and he's holding a gun to your head. Okay, there is an assassin holding a gun to your head and he says that now, whatever you were expecting to do it in two weeks, do it in one week. Otherwise, he will shoot you. What would he do? You will figure out the best way. You will figure out the best resources. You will figure out the best methodology. You will figure out the best strategy and you'll do it. And that's exactly what you need to do. Imagine that there is an assassin in the room and he's holding a gun next to your head. And he says that do it now. Do not delay. Do not procrastinate. Do not postpone. Do not have this withdrawal syndrome. Now, that way you will be able to accelerate your studies. Second point, how to overcome this withdrawal syndrome. How to not be in that 40% who will never go to the exam hall. Now, if that has to happen, then you have to remember your destination is your motivation. Why did you start this preparation to become a scientist or a professor in a lab or an institution or a college, right? So that destination is your motivation. Remember that destination and say, no, that is where I have to get to. This exam is just one step. I have to just go and face it, right? No matter whatever result comes, I must face it. Nishkam Karmi Yog. Gita says Nishkam Karmi Yog. Do your duty as a student to write the exam. Results are never going to be in your control. Efforts are going to be in your control. Okay. Now let's move on to the next part. Even if you are still feeling withdrawal syndrome, you can always reach out to me. My email ID is shekhar at biotechnica.org. Tell me what is going, what you're going through, what exactly you are feeling and I will help you out overcome this syndrome. The next part of your journey is, okay, you are now not in that 40% who will never go to the exam hall. You are in that 70% or uh, you know, 60% who will go to the exam hall. But your goal is to come in that 0.9% people who will get selected, right? So to get selected, you have to remember the last mile deserves the biggest and the strongest stamina. This is the last mile, right? The last mile needs the strongest stamina, the best of you, the best performance of you is demanded right now, is being demanded. So don't feel that fatigue. So don't get fatigued by the uh, burden of this exam date and this exam. Instead, break your revision into small steps and start doing. Stop telling yourself that you are not good enough. Instead, start telling this to yourself that you are going to make it this time no matter what. And even if you have the, let's assume that, even if you had the worst pre preparation in the last six months, still you can make it. If you do not panic in the exam hall, you read in a calm manner and you solve it in a perfect manner. That's all. Nobody is going to see how you prepared. Everybody is going to see what result came, right? So 
in the exam hall you have to stay calm that is what is needed right now so to stay ex calm in the exam hall you need to stay calm right now calm down relax you can make it happen nothing can stop you from achieving a jrf or a lectureship this time all you need is to keep moving forward one step at a time one inch at a time without getting um, de derailed and distracted from your goal your goal is to make a jrf or a lectureship this time and that's all now once you are in the exam hall you have to make sure that you are not getting distracted by all the people who are around right so just don't pay attention remember that you are a horse with pecs next to your eyes so that you cannot see this and this side and that side you can only see the question paper you can only see what's in front of you and in front of you is your goal your chair of your lectureship with this aim and with this methodology i have seen several people qualifying exam even with the worst possible strategy they did it because they were just one inch above the cutoff and that is what is needed right now you don't need to solve all the questions you don't need to solve the toughest question you don't need to you know prove your metal by solving the toughest question all you need to do is just stay one inch above the cutoff so if panic is overcoming you and you are not able to control your mind and not able to focus you need to take a pause probably you have studied too much take a pause stretch your body activate your good hormones create let the adrenaline be released in your body it will give you that fight response and you will be able to fight again so with these thoughts i wish you all the best don't panic this is the right time to get started and last 5 days of the exam we are starting with power hour it is going to be in the evening either 6 to 8 or 7 to 9 that that is the time today my guru my very own co-founder of biotechnica neha ma'am is going to be live and she is going to teach you biochemistry and various other topics power hour is csir net power hour is the name and i invite all of you to attend this session today you will realize that you are more than sufficient to qualify this exam so i wish you all the best and i'll see you soon when i will take up the general aptitude part in this power hour so till the time keep shining keep fighting you're going to make it this time because your destination is your motivation all the best take care bye bye